us, and then this is true for all of us, if we're not careful at times, we might lose sight of what we're here. We're here to celebrate what Christ has accomplished in Calvary in us, for we were dead in trespasses and sin. We were far from the commonwealth of Israel. We weren't a people who were polluted in our own blood. Cast off, condemned to die. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love and with him, loved us even when we were dead in sins. Oh, so I celebrate the cross of Calvary. I celebrate Jesus. I am waiting until next week, Easter Sunday, to tell you thank you.
This is where he changes. He says, and it will get better by the time I am gone. For if I had to talk about what I It would bring tears from someone just to see
we, 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 we should force the issue. Sometimes you have to, you have to break the dam if the water is going to flow. Amen? Sometimes we have to burst the dam if the water must flow. I, I sense increase. We've been saying, saints, don't play with God. Don't play with God. God is a serious God. If you pray, you ask God to do a thing, He will. This is not unto us, this is the Lord's doing. It's called as His Son. It is His will that men be saved. And I say it all the time you, we don't love people more than God does. Jesus died for us to be saved. God bless you for those coming in. He died for us to be saved. And so, next week is going to be Easter Sunday. I believe the Lord has something prepared for us. I would love that you all bring somebody down. Bring somebody. It's, it's one of my favorite times of the year. Uh, it's my, one of my, it, it, my heart just it gets so emotional for me because Calvary does it for me all day, every day. All day, every day. And so uh, we have this day that we have set aside in this season to really Zoom in closer and, and to pay attention to uh, uh, to Calvary and what was accomplished there for us. And next week we want to uh, pay close attention to that. And so greetings to everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Of course, you know it's such a pleasure to see you all. And, and of course, we have to make mention of the Nelson family. Amen. Put your hands together for them. Come on. Amen. Amen. Good to have them back in the house of the Lord. Praise God. Because I love to see them. I love to see them. Amen. So they're coming in meeting Sister Shanice for the first time. And Sister Michelle. And then Sister Wanda. Okay. So stand up now, some family, so that you they can see, see you. Here we go. Here we go. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We continue to pray for our brother Monday. He's not here. Um, we, he came in late from work as I was told. He was just drained. Amen. We want to pray for the young man's strength. And the Lord, who else is not here? Brandon. Brandon. Brandon is not here. Who else? Sister Veronica. Yes. Brother Ben. Yes, Brother Ben is not here. Let's pray for our saints that when we don't see them, we will be very cognizant and we want them to know that chances are that some of them are watching us by the internet. And we want them to know we rather you be here than home. Amen. Amen. We love them when you're here. But but let me also, I, 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 I don't know if uh, Brother Sheldon has us on stream, but we must, all right, he says yes, we must be very cognizant that we have uh, members in Atlanta, Georgia, members in Nairobi, Kenya. We have people in, who is a sister that follows us online from Nairobi, Kenya. There's a few people who follow us uh, across the globe. And we want, to, we want them to know that we feel very blessed and, and, and it's, it's, it's a privilege uh, to have you joining us. And so on behalf of all of us here, at All Nations Campus for the Tabernacle. We probably should have somebody to do that officially. Uh, every week, to, we should have somebody, probably one of our sisters, uh, with that beautiful, uh, 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 what would I say, that accent that, that everybody wants to hear. But, but welcome, welcome all over America, all over the world. God bless you. It's a pleasure to have you join us. We want to stay with praying. We've been praying, and Lord, it's been a blessing. It's been a blessing. Amen. So something uh, that the Lord has laid on my heart, praying in the spirit. We want to talk about that this morning. Praying in the spirit. Everybody shout that. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the spirit. Praying in the Spirit. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6 and 18. Ephesians 6 and verse number 18. It's pretty
projected on the screen. It says, Pray always with all prayer and supplication. How? In the spirit. And watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication. Not for some, but for all saints. Pray always in the spirit. Watching their own to with all perseverance and supplication. Father, help us this morning. Oh, help us. Send help from your center. Speak through us. Speak to us. Speak for us. Give us receptive hearts and minds. Let your words change our lives. For your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And it's good to see you. Good to see all our first time visitors. Today is the only time you'll be a first time visitor. Amen. Amen. As of next week, you're no longer a visitor. You'll be a host and we're glad to have you. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, the Bible has much to say about praying in the Spirit. Uh, I have a few texts here. Jude 1 20 says, But ye, beloved, Building yourselves up, building yourselves up on your most holy faith. And how do you do that? Pray in the Holy Ghost. Romans 6, 26 and 7 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit Himself, everybody said the Spirit Himself. The Spirit Himself. The, 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 the body said the Spirit Himself. The Spirit Himself. Makes intercession for us the groanings which cannot be uttered. Now we who searches, he who searches the hearts, know what the mind of the Spirit is because. He makes intercession for the saints according. Everybody say according to the will of God. So the, the question that, ladies and gentlemen, is how does one pray in the spirit? How does this look? What is praying in the spirit exactly? So yes, we all pray in the spirit, and the Bible has more to say than pray. Galatians 5, I think, and, and 16 thereabouts says, Walk in the Spirit, and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. So we are praying in the Spirit, we are to walk in the Spirit, we are to live in the Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Amen. But, but how does this look? Let's use the word new as informative. 
day of Pentecost. I want you to sing it as Jesus. Sing it as Jesus. So that my hands will do things that my hand can do. Of it all, sing it as Jesus. So that my mind will begin to think things that it can on its own. Sing it as Jesus. So that my mouth will begin to speak mysteries. My mind knows that I'm up. Sing it as Jesus. So that I can get people who come and act in. Oh! 
you walk out of here, you know what I'm saying? When you go into praying in the spirit, it's not about the words that you repeat. It's the how you approach God. It's, the, it's all in the heart. You shine that on You can pray in the spirit without using it.
Spirit is approaching the throne of grace in humble and default intercession and supplication entirely on God's terms. But number one, our, our approaching God is not based on Him. It's based on Christ and what He accomplished at Calvary. That, that's why the fate of the temple is read in twain, not from the bottom up, but from the top down. In other words, God ripped it. God tore the veil to give men free access. So now we come boldly to the throne of grace.
receive the Holy Ghost. Eli is accustomed to people coming to pray. He has seen that all his career. But something this morning was different about this woman. I said something was different about the woman. He's seen her last month. He saw her the month before. He saw people coming to pray times and times again. But this time was different. Somebody holler this time. I don't hear no church in here. Holler this time. This time when you come before God, your, your posture is different. Your dance is different. Your clap is different. Your shout is louder. It will shut up a higher. And if you are not careful, somebody might misrepresent it. So, 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 but, oh, hold a second. Oh, oh, what do I, oh. You did see Sean Man last week? I could have what do I say? You, you, did you see Russia at the altar? I could have what do I say? And sometimes when we cry, they say, Lord God, then I want God to beat us. Yeah. Sometimes the onlooker gets it wrong all the time. Eli, the man of God, got it wrong. Eli says, come out of your drunkenness. Come out of your wine. Come out of your wine, woman. And she said, no, my Lord. This is not a drunken praise. No, my Lord. I may be drunken, but it's not by your wine. It's by the wine of the Spirit. It is the Holy Ghost. I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I am before the Lord. I am communicating with the God of my salvation. And God and I have something working out on the altar. It is not words as much as what you're saying. A person's praise in the spirit, it breaks, it breaks up the atmosphere. You can have two people praying. I one pray for a very long time, very eloquently, praying according to the book. Oh my God. And then one person will come up and pray a few words, and it loses the atmosphere. It, sh it shifts things in the heavenlies. It shifts things. Why? Because such a one is praying up under the influence of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit can use what you can accomplish with two words. God can accomplish it without speaking. God, may we not be caught up in doing things our way. Because that's sin. But may we do it your way, God, in our homes, in our church, in our lives. May every heart in Anat New Rochelle right now be open. May every ear be open. May we be so susceptible to the moving of the Holy Spirit. May it be accomplished His way. May it be according to His will. May it be according to His will. 
May I never miss it. To miss it, I don't have time to go around for 40 years doing a journey that long that doing it God's way would have been accomplished in 11 days or less. 40 years. Who has 40 years? <laughs> Who in here has 40 years? Who in here? Don't don't do it your way. Don't do it your way, church. Don't, don't live your life your way. Don't do your marriage your way. Don't do your raise your children your way. Don't do it your way. You do it God's way. You don't have time to do it your way. You don't have time to do it your way. Do it God's way. You know, you do it God's way. You do it God's way. Do it God's way. Do it God's way. Seek for his way. The Bible said you should seek for the path of God. And when you find it, you should walk in it. May Anna and your self find the path of God today. May we find your path, God. May we find the path of God. Ushaba and walk therein. <laughs> the Lord says you don't have 40 years. That's how long it's going to take you to do it your way. And at the end, you're going to die out generation after generation. You're going to die in the wilderness. To pray in the spirit is to do it God's way. to do it God's way. Oh, to pray in the spirit is to do it God's way. Uh, praying in the spirit is praying according to the spirit's leading. Lord, what will thou have for me to do? Lord, may we never just get up and preach what we want to preach. May we never sing what we want to sing. May we never say what we want to say. May we never teach what we want to teach. How will what I have to say change, Xavier? I may be able to fool an adult, but who changes a child? Only God. Only God. to follow the leading of the spirit. It is praying for things the spirit leads us to pray for. It's not a self-centered prayer. It's a Christ-centered prayer. It's Christ-centered. It is to the establishment of the kingdom of God. Saul says, David said, when I would have killed Goliath. When I would have cut his head from his body. When I would have fed the carcasses of the Philistine to the fowls of the ear. It would have been accomplished for one purpose. Mother, wait not for somebody to say, oh my God, David was so mighty. No. No. Not for somebody to say, what a warrior. Not for somebody to say, my God, what a young boy's skill. But that all men will know that there is a God in Israel. 
That all men may know that there is a God in Israel. When God would have delivered you, it would be so that men would know that you have a God who neither sleep nor slumber. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Praying in the Spirit should be understood as praying in the power of the Spirit by the leading of the Spirit according to the will of God. So, what's my job then? My job is to become pliable to the molding, to the leading of the Spirit. When I'm going before Him, it's not with my shopping list, but it is to make myself, I have a job, I have a responsibility to open me up to the leading of the Spirit. That's why I sing, lead me, Lord. I will follow. Lead me, Lord. I will go. You have called me. I will answer. Lead me, Lord. I will go. So lead me, Lord. I will follow. Lead me, Lord. I will go. You have called me. I will answer. Could you all be standing? Lead me, Lord. I will go. So lead. Just a whisper, just a whisper. Listen to what you're saying. Lead me, Lord. I will go. You have called me. Come on, raise it up. I will answer. Lead me, Lord. I will go. I sense the spirit rising upon us. Say it again. Come on, lead me, Lord. Everybody say it. I will follow. Lead me, Lord. I will go. You have called me. Say it. I will answer. Oh, lead me, Lord. I. Oh, it sounds good. It sounds good. Let's raise it up, everybody. Lead me, Lord. I will follow. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. I will go. You have called me. Say it. I will answer. Oh, God, lead me, Lord. Uh, oh, one more time. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. I will follow. Oh, lead me, Lord. I will go. I will go. Oh, you have called me and I will answer. What a beautiful worship. I will answer. Lead me, Lord, lead me. Lead me. 
Lord, I'm tired of doing it my way, so lead me, lead me, Lord. I'm saying yes to you today. Somebody is doing it. Somebody is saying yes. No more doing it my way. I'm doing it your way, Lord. I hear you in the spirit. I hear you. You have called me. I will answer. I will answer. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Lead me. I will follow. Lead me, Lord. I will go. I will go. I want everybody in here to be worshiping. Come on. You have called me. We have a few minutes to worship. We have a few minutes. Come on. Everybody worship God. Lead me. I will go. And I will follow. Yeah, lead me, Lord. Leads me, Lord. I will go. I will and go. And I will go. You have called me, Jesus. You have called me. I will answer. And I will answer. Oh, lead me, Lord. Lead And I will go. Lead me, Lord, I'll follow. Anywhere. Anywhere you open up uh, the door. Let me know your will. Let me know your wisdom. Show me things. Show me things I've never seen before. Oh, Lord, Lord, I want to be, be a witness. You can take. You, you can, can take, take what's, what's wrong and make it, it right. Uh, Shine down on me, let me and know. let your love shine through me in the night. I want us to understand clearly. I want us to understand clearly as we exit the service today. That a part of us. There's a part of us that will always seek to resist the will of God. There's always a part of us that will always seek to resist the will of God. Paul says, for within me, as in, in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Nothing good is in our flesh. But the Lord has accomplished at Calvary. Is the best thing we have. Salvation. We're human beings. We are flawed. We're imperfect people. 
we only boast in the Lord. Only boast in the Lord. As you leave this church today, the word from the Lord is that you do it God's way. Walk in the spirit. Walk according to the will of the Lord. Seek for it. I am seeking for it. You will not leave this house today knowing in its entirety, knowing it as in the will of God in its entirety for your life, but you seek for it daily. Read the scriptures. Make a, uh, an, a concerted effort to break yourself free from what you want. And things always been about how you want it to be. But develop the culture of pleasing the Lord. Lord spoke of David. The Bible speaks of David as a man after God's own heart. A man who puts God's desires above his own. And I challenge every one of us in here this morning. Let that be said of us. Let that be said of us, that we are people desperately seeking the will of the Lord for our lives. If you go make a mistake, let it be in your quest for wanting to know what the will of God is. That's how hard I want you to go after God. Go after God hard. Did you hear me? Saints, go 